right, let's check this one out. <gasps> Hi, Kendra. Oh, you're you're um, we're staticky. Let me see. Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. What's your name, baby? Hi, Kendra. <laughs> okay, calm down. My name is Janice. Janice, where are you calling us from? From Indianapolis, Indiana. Indianapolis. Do you have any kids? No. No kids. Um, what do you do for a living? So I am a health advisor for PepsiCo. Health advisor for PepsiCo? Yes. Okay. Do you, um, what do you, oh, how old are you? I am 33. 33. What's your zodiac sign? Uh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. So this is Janice, Indianapolis, no kids, health advisor, health advisor, right? Yes, ma'am. Health advisor for PepsiCo, 33 Sagittarius. Okay, girlfriend, you look good on paper and you're pretty. Let's do it. What kind of man are you looking for? Okay, so I'm looking for a guy that is ready for a relationship, um, a guy that wants to have children, uh, marriage minded someone that has a good sense of humor, and someone that I can, um, sorry, oh, I'm a little nervous, child. Okay. <sighs> um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, what are your deal breakers? Uh, potential deal breakers would be a guy that smokes. Not definitely, but potential. Um, a guy who does not want to have children or more children, and, um, a guy that still messes with like his child's mother or like ex. So. Oh, okay, no. So he can have children. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Just so I'm still be dealing with your child's mother. Okay. Yes. Um, does he have to look a certain way? No, not necessarily. So I will, I only would probably date black men. Um, but yeah, I don't really care. I wouldn't. Yeah, I don't care as long as he, you know, kind of take take takes care of himself as far as like, you know, eating okay, um, a little bit of working out, just because I want to make sure that we're good examples for our children, so. Yeah. Okay. Um, does he have to make a certain amount of money? Nah, I don't care. I just want us to get to know each other, um, take our time, get to know each other, and we'll know if we are. You'll know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's do the- You know, it's weird, right? Because she's 33. Why is she still single? This is something, right, where you you have to understand why. She seems very, like, very flexible, right? I mean, like, she just wants black men, okay? That's the only maybe stipulation, but she seems very flexible, right? Men can have kids, not, not that big deal about the money and all this stuff, but yet... Why is this woman still single? And I I honestly like this is a thing where I honestly believe and she's not terrible looking, right? She's not terrible looking. Uh she looks in okay shape. I mean if she wants a man in shape as well, I I'm, I would guess that she should be in in decent shape herself. But why is this woman single? I think that this is this is sometimes the the, foul, the delusion or hypocrisies of a lot of women where they say one thing, but their actions are very different. Okay, I've said this plenty and plenty of times. When it comes to dating, when it comes to getting a man, it is easy for women. It is easy, whether a woman is fat, skinny, Ugly, pretty, rich, poor, that definitely doesn't matter much. Whatever, right? Even if she has a bad temper for, for you know, whatever. She can still find a man that wants her, wants to have sex with her, wants to be in a relationship with her, even, maybe even wants to marry her. But you have to think, right? Women that has, get later on in life, she's in her early 30s. But yeah, she's still single. And I'm pretty sure she's not a virgin. 
Okay, so she's dealt with men. She's been in relationships before. And yet, nothing has worked. And I've said this in other times, where these women are probably attracted to or attract terrible men. Okay, so maybe she's like, I don't know, into... I don't know, the cheaters, uh, the abusers or whatever, right? Maybe because the part she said, like, men that's into their ex and stuff like that. Maybe that's something she's been attracting or attracted to, right? Men that has, has cheated. Or the flip side is, like, she's just hard to deal with, right? That's part of one of the reasons why she's still single. So, as this is... as great as she may seem right so flexible so you know nothing so strict well you wonder why she's still single so she's probably going for the black men that are the charmers the playboys the bad boys you know the good looking ones the tall the you know the fit one the, the really fit tall black men uh that's charming but they probably cheat on her so, she's attracted to those type of men. She's attracted to the playboys and bad boys. Right? The players and bad boys. So, I don't know. The kids are camp. They've been waiting on it. Oh, my God. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I swear to goodness. Okay. I. Oh, wow. You look like you're, you're small. Yeah. I'm kind of small. <laughs> okay. You look good. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> So this is Denise, oh Indianapolis. No kids. Do you want to have kids one day? Yes. I am excited to be a mom. Okay. She's excited to be a mom. Um, should he be in Indianapolis? He doesn't have to be in Indianapolis. I just, I would prefer that he come see me though. I don't want to get blown out or anything like that. So I would prefer that he first come sees me if he's somewhere else. And then I'm open to going to see him if we like click. Okay. Okay. When was your last relationship? Um, so my last relationship, I've been single for about, ugh, I've been single since 2020, since like October 2020. So it's been like three years. Yeah. Okay. Three years. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to. That's one thing I, I, I really find women to be ridiculous about. One of the biggest, most valuable commodity all humans have is time. And yet we waste it. Those three years, three years you could have spent shifting through the crap, right? Like uh, dating, uh, going through like, and uh, purposely dating, right? Uh, or uh, dating with a purpose. Right? But it's like you just wasted three years and now you're 33. It's like as you get older, things don't, options don't get better. Right? Things don't get better for you on the dating market. So it's just, this is the thing with, I think, especially critical for women where they love to waste years. I haven't dated, uh, I haven't had a boyfriend in eight years, I haven't had a boyfriend in 10 years. I mean, they've probably been doing things, right? But they haven't had an official relationship. So you haven't been dating with a purpose for so long. You just wasted years. You just wasted needless years. Because now, again, it is not easy to date, essentially. To, or it's not easy to find the right person. So you're going to now waste a couple more years shifting through the crap it's just ridiculous with women like that say again no that was 2019 that was before covid so it was october 2019 i'm sorry okay you don't have to answer but i'm gonna ask when's the last time you was intimate with someone oh that's private thank you though <laughs> okay no well, i said uh, asterisk it has usually been recent uh, about the month to about four months 
So, yeah. I mean, although she seems prim and proper, I guess. But, hmm, you have to question it sometimes, right? It's just, yes, she hasn't been dating in three years, but that's private. Why she said she, uh, it's been three years? Why? Because it hasn't been three years since she's done it. So, she's not as proper or prim and proper as you may think, right? Doing it with men that she doesn't really need to be in a relationship with. So, this is the thing. I think a lot of times people put on facade. So. What are three flaws you have to work on? So, something that I noticed in my last relationship is just, and I'm working on it. It's just um, not being so sensitive. <laughs> I can I can get kind of um, my feelings get hurt really fast, and then I can kind of shut down. So I'm I'm working on that, and um, being open minded because I'm kind of like a clean freak. So be open minded that not everybody is clean like me. And then uh, another one would just be to like let down my walls, like chill out <laughs> a little bit, and. Um, you know, just just be open to for love. And I'm working on those things. She's working on those things. Okay. Yeah. So we got Janice, Indianapolis, no kids, health advisor. Hello? I'm sorry. Go ahead, Miss Kendra. My apologies. I'm uh, just excited. That's 33. Like What's the age range you would date? So I would say... Um, I would say no more. I would say maybe the youngest would be... 30, maybe 30, but I'll go up to 45. You'll go up to 45? Yeah. Okay, so go up to 45. Okay, so Denise, Indianapolis, no kids, um, and you do want children, correct? Yes. Okay. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Okay, so you'll get a woman that is kind, friendly. I love sports. I, I'm really family-oriented. I can cook, I can clean. Um, let me see, I'm supportive. And, you know, I know Kendra now, so, like, why wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got it. <laughs> Ooh, child. Y'all put me on job resumes. Put two, two, two um, contacts for people we can. Don't listen now. Y'all don't really. Nah, I, I, I love you, Janice. We don't really, really know each other, though, but I love you. I love you. Don't be putting me down on your job resume as one of your, um, they try to reach out to me. Do you know Shaquetta? She applying for a job at Walmart and she put you down for a reference. Y'all can't be using my ass for a reference. Because if your job find my number and call me, I'm calling the cops. I'm going to call the cops tell them that don't hire your crazy ass because she don't even know me <laughs> and she used me as a reference. So that shows you she's crazy, though. So don't hire her ass at Walmart. Don't be putting me down on no job references. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. You can use my name, Janice. You can use it. You can use it, girl. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right, but let's do it. Janice, Indianapolis, no kids, health advisor at PepsiCo, 33, Sagittarius. She'll date her age to 45. Um, how could the guy reach out to you? This is the thing, right? She doesn't seem bad, right? I I honestly believe her, her, at least by what I just get so far, right? It was very, very surface level. The problem she's facing is what she's attracted to, right? I think that's the problem. And this is a problem for a lot of women, right? It's not necessarily you, right? In a sense that... She seems like a like a nice person, right? Uh, proper, uh, prim and proper, right? Um, not too, um, I don't know, for the streets or shit like that. Um, but the thing is, I, I, I can bet that her issue is that what she's attracted to, the men, she's attracted to, right? And I, I would really, I could bet money that she's attracted to 
the players, the bad boys, the charmers, right? And I think that that's the key. Right. So I, I think that's why she's still single. And, you know, I think that's the red flag. So, I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Again, I, I'm not getting a whole lot of bad vibes from her or anything, right? But like I said, you will always have to understand why women are single. Because... And I think women deflect this. I honestly believe women deflect the deflect this question a lot because they don't want to say it. Because they lack self-reflection. Because I've said it before, dating for women is easy. Getting a man for women is easy. Very easy, right? All types of women can always find a man that, want, like I've said it before, wants to date them, have sex with them, even marry them. Yet, why are they still can't find that man? In their prime, like in the 20s to 30s, it's in their prime, right? So why? Why haven't they find a man when they are at the most desired? Usually, and I think it's in her case, right? The more things I can say, it's usually because she's probably attracted to terrible men or she attracts terrible men. I think she, I honestly believe that she falls into that category. I don't get the sense that she's hard to deal with. Not really. But I think she more falls in the, the category where she attracts and she's attracted to terrible men. So, that's that's what I'm guessing, right? Uh, that's because, because you wonder why. I mean, she's not terrible. She's not terrible looking. You know, so I think she just attracts terrible black men you know she's attracted to and attract terrible black men and again i know plenty of good you know good uh good black men but it's not like they're they're, they're good looking black men or they're not like let's say physically fit or anything like that especially i mean they're not they're not fat or anything but i want to say they call go they go to the gym or anything so you know i again I think I think that's the key. I think that's that that that's a reading reasoning for her. But I don't know. That's just a guess.